prepare a delicious meal for the family. My main dish, which is what I'm gonna share with you guys this evening, is a delicious lobster mac and cheese. Yes, lobster mac and cheese, delicious. I'm gonna start with my ingredients so we can get started because we're hungry here, okay? We got some flour. We got the lobster, of course. We have two types of cheeses. I have Gruyere cheese and I also have cheddar cheese. We have plain breadcrumbs. We got some butter. We got milk, some black pepper. We have some salt and some eggnog. So we're gonna start with our, what the French call roux, a roux. I call it simple, it's a white sauce. I'm gonna use butter and flour to do this sauce. So I already have this heating up. The key here is be careful, we don't want the uh, butter to get really dark so I don't have it in a high level. I do have it in a uh, low setting here, okay? So we're gonna use six tablespoons first, and I'm gonna leave this for the last, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and melt this butter down. While I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do this start warming up my milk. I actually have here four cup of milk. Cause this is what's gonna do that delicious white sauce. And guys, with the milk, please, I am so famous for burning the milk. So keep an eye. I'm gonna go medium setting as well here. Okay, so we got the butter going. Make sure it's melted. Again, we don't want the butter to burn. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, flour. I'm gonna put the uh, actual ingredients and parts in the uh, video, okay? So, don't panic. Okay, what we wanna do is, we wanna cook this flour, okay? We don't wanna taste that taste of flour. So, we gotta give it a minute or two. And this is what you want, guys. See how pretty and yellow it looks? And we're back, guys. We have the uh, milk it's warm up enough. Let's prepare this delicious roux, as the French call it. Let's do this. Gotta be very careful, this is hot. So we're gonna start mixing around. We'll put a little bit, and we mix. I think I'm gonna do this. There we go. There we go. What we want really soft and thick, okay? So we gotta give it a few minutes here. We have to be patient, because we really want this white sauce to be thickened. Because this is gonna be actually the sauce for the uh, delicious lobster mac. gonna go ahead and give it a little heat. Just medium setting. Again, we can't leave this unattended. Look at this beautiful sauce. And this is what we want. We want no clumps. We don't wanna see any flour here. So this is what you're looking for. See how pretty? Let me share a secret. This is key to any mac and cheese. 
You want a creamy mac. I want to add more pepper, I'll add more pepper. And if I want to give it a little more of that nutmeg taste, I'll do a little bit more. So it's really up to you. I am for flavors. How beautiful this looks. So my macaroni, I have a box of macaroni, which I cooked ahead of the game. I don't think this is gonna fit here, so I'm gonna have to get a bigger bowl to mix this. Beautiful. So this is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and mix now. Of course, I have to use a bigger bowl. I don't think it was gonna work. See how beautiful. And I'm using my favorite bacon dish. I know you guys know the story. Ooh, look at this. You can smell the cheeses, nutmeg. running a few miles tomorrow after this. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and add the uh, lobster. I have half a pound of lobster. You can do as much as you like. Mix this nicely. Yummy. I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna do something special. You can actually bake this here. We have to do the uh, breadcrumbs. So if, if you're gonna do that, you can go ahead and do your, your breadcrumbs. But I'm gonna go ahead and do something different. I'm gonna be using these pretty little serving a uh, baking dish and I'm gonna serve these individually. So I like this. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this in. We still have to do the breadcrumbs. We'll do that next. Pretty looks. You wanna impress your guests? This is it. This is our last process. We are going to go ahead and brown our plain breadcrumbs. We want them nice and toasty. You put that delicious lobster mac and cheese in your mouth, you can feel the crunches. Delicious. Got two tablespoons of butter here, and I have actually half a cup of plain breadcrumbs. I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Give this some color. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little color. Nice and toasty. Gives it a nice texture as well. We're gonna go ahead and now put the uh, breadcrumbs over this beautiful looking lobster mac and cheese. This, put it in the oven. It's gonna go at 375 for 30 minutes. It's just gonna complement this dish beautifully. Guys, and this is our final product. How beautiful this look. It's not only beautiful, but it's very tasty. Very flavorful. It's so beautiful. We're gonna actually complement it with some steaks. I actually have a little green uh, sauce I'm fixing um, on the side. But this is all you need. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little taste. It's very hot, be careful. Mmm. Delicious. Really, really delicious. Guys, cheers. Cheers to life. Cheers to friendship. Cheers to love. And cheers to 26 beautiful years of engagement with my camera guy. I love you. Cheers.
care.